um, the first thing that we did yesterday, uh, when the explosion happened two days ago, the plan was to cordon off the place, so as to allow us to find out exactly the cause of the problem. So at 8 o'clock yesterday morning, the bomb disposal unit of the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Police, and Civil Defense, uh, we spent two hours trying to assess and to uh, find out the cause of the explosion. We were able to piece a lot of evidence together as to what is going to be the probable cause of this particular explosion. And when we were through with that, we then decided to proceed, you know, with the real issue, which was managing, I mean, looking for where the victims were. Uh, even though at the time of the accident, um, of the uh, incident rather, um, the University College Hospital uh, emergency team was um, triggered and... Uh, about 40 medical doctors were brought on site. About 60 nurses were brought on site with medical students and some uh, student nurses. So we waited for the victims to come. And when we didn't have too many, I think USH had um, less than 20, uh, we then came to the site. But because of the logistics, uh, we couldn't do much that night. That was uh, the day of the incident. But yesterday, we were able to commence the evaluation of the site after taking charge and collecting enough um, samples and evidences which the disposal, I mean, a unit of the Nigerian Army bomb disposal unit took away. So the next thing was then to begin to look for um, survivors in the rubbles or if there are people that have been impaled and are actually caught uh, under the rubble. So uh, yesterday we were able to retrieve one um, uh, cops, but not full body. It was smashed up and we were able to collect a few uh, of the body parts. Uh, but unfortunately today, there's one more uh, elderly woman that we've been looking for that um, has been taken to the uh, forensic pathology unit uh, for assessment. Uh, otherwise, um, the site is calm. The Nigerian Society of Engineers or your state chapter are on ground and they're looking at the integrity test because we insisted they should check that this morning. And for homes that um, fail the test, I'm afraid they will have to be demolished. And um, anyone that wants to pick any valuable in a relatively stable house uh, will be accompanied with, you know, uh, we're accompanied by the uh, engineers with a helmet, as well as the uh, Nigeria, uh, no, no, the Ohio State uh, Fire Brigade. And so once that is sorted out, when we use the word valuable, we're talking about certificates and probably land uh, documents. Otherwise, uh, we're not encouraging them to take beds and uh, tables and chairs out of the premises because of the risks that they pose. So everybody's doing their, you know, we're doing search and rescue is carrying on. But at the same time, the engineers are doing their jobs. And uh, the place is being secured by the Nigerian army and also the Nigerian police, as well as civil defense and uh, the Amatakin Corps.